loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me God made me, he made everything God loves me, he can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere, and he loves me When I look up, 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 I know he's real When I look down, down, down Believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real When I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me You have no birthday You have always been you alone have no beginning and no middle and no end You're always with me, you are everywhere In New Jersey or in Egypt, even outer space, you're there Everything you are and do is unbelievable but true You're the God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than Ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, the exclamation points are bound to the God of Wow! You're never needy. How could you be? You made everything on earth and in the sky and in the sea. You're never lonely. The Trinity Father, Son, and Holy Spirit Yet you're reaching out to me Inviting me to come to you Inconceivable but true You're the God of wow Amazing How could this be? You're the God of wow You're more than I could ever, ever dream The more I learn about you Exclamation points are bound to the God of Wow! I can't find the words that could be big enough, loud enough There could be no song that I could sing enough or shout enough When I want to praise your name but don't know how I just say, wow, amazing, how could this be? And I say, wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, exclamation points are bound to the God of wow.
Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another preschool chapel here in our summer series. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite heroes in the Bible, King David. But this story is about before David even became a king, and David had to face one of the greatest enemies he would ever face, a giant named Goliath. Yes, a giant named Goliath. Have you ever had to face something that made you a little scared or nervous? And what helped you come overcome that fear that you might have had? Well, for David, it was the Lord God. You see, David wasn't afraid because God had been preparing him his entire life for this moment to face Goliath. David was a shepherd. David was used to protecting his sheep from lions and bears and wolves and other animals that might want to hurt them. David had become a skilled warrior, even as a shepherd, and he was able to use his slingshot to kill off and ward off some of these dangerous animals. God had been using that and preparing David, so when the time came, David was ready to face Goliath and wasn't afraid at all. He knew what he had to do, and he knew that God was with him. So let's go ahead and check out today's story with David and Goliath. Slapstick Theater, David and Goliath. This is David. Hey! David was a shepherd who lived in Bethlehem. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a boy. But David had to wait a very long time until that promise would come true because there was another king of Israel named Saul. Saul led the armies of Israel. One day, King Saul was with his army near the Valley of Ella. On the other side of this valley, the Philistines, the enemies of Israel, gathered their army ready to fight. The Philistines had a giant warrior named Goliath who challenged the Israelites. Hey! Goliath spoke badly of God and his people. He shouted and taunted them, saying, Choose one man to come down here and fight me. The Israelites and King Saul were very afraid. Meanwhile, David's father sent David to bring some food to his brothers and their captain. Goliath came out of the Philistines' army, and David heard him shout his usual mean taunts to the army of Israel. Whoa, what? As soon as the Israelites saw Goliath, they began to run away in fright. See ya. David asked, who is this Philistine anyway that he has allowed to defy the armies of the living God? David's questions were reported to King Saul, and the king sent for him. Uh, hi. David said, don't worry about this Philistine. I'll go fight him. Saul said, there's no way you can fight him and win. You're only a boy. Wait. But David told Saul that he had taken care of his father's sheep and rescued them from lions and bears. Then David declared, The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and bear will rescue me from this Philistine. So Saul said, All right, go ahead and may the Lord be with you. David picked up five smooth stones from a stream. Then, armed only with his shepherd's staff and sling, he started across the valley to fight Goliath. When Goliath saw him coming, he sneered at him and yelled bad things at David. But David said, You come to me with a sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of Heaven's armies. Goliath moved closer to attack, and David quickly ran out to meet him. He hurled a stone from his sling and hit Goliath in the forehead. The stone sank in, and Goliath stumbled and fell to the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with only a sling and a stone, for he had no sword. But he knew the power of God and trusted God to win the battle against the giant. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope you learned a little something about David. Yes, as you see, just like we said in the beginning, God had prepared David his whole life. So when the moment came for David to take down this big giant, he wasn't scared because he had a lot of practice at taking down things that were dangerous and bigger than him because God was working with him that whole time. And not only that, he knew that God was with him. God's power was with him. 
And God's power was the, was the power that guided that rock to take down Goliath. Well, boys and girls, I want to let you know that God is preparing you and God is providing for you in ways that you might not even realize. One day you guys will grow up and become moms and dads and husbands and wives, and God will call you to do great things. And just know that right now God is preparing you for an incredible life to serve him if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus. And so I want to let you guys know when you face challenges that you might be afraid of, just know that if you're trusting in Jesus, God is with you. God is preparing you to face those challenges and God will not let you fail. And God will always show you different things for you to learn from. And remember, remember the story of David, that when David faced Goliath, he knew God was with him and there was nothing to be afraid of. So boys and girls, when you face things that you're afraid of, remember that God is also with you, that Jesus is fighting for you, that Jesus is your giant slayer, and he's helping you recover and pursue God's design for your life. Well, we love you boys and girls. I'll see you next week and take it easy.